Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in any neighborhood. So as I leave the salon. Stop spreading hate and destruction. As I leave this salon. I know I drink too much. Girl, I know I got a temper. Man, I know I be going off too much. Yeah, I really need to stop doing drugs and dope, man, and pill popping. Let that sink in. Yeah, I know I talk to my wife reckless, man. Yeah, girl, I be calling him everything. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. These persons, these people... Certain of us who can admit what's wrong with us, but yet and still you do nothing about it. Yeah, man, I know I drink too much. And you're still in the liquor store. You're still in a bootlegger. And you're still sneaking around drinking. Yeah, I let him have it all the time, girl. Hmm. You turned that man's heart into jelly. Man, I'd be letting her have it. You turned that woman's heart, mind, and life into a life of PTSD, pain, tears, sadness, and dreams of a demon. How can any one of us admit, and it's a strength and a truth, and a fallacy and sad, how can any one of us admit that something is wrong with us and you don't do anything about it? as I land off all the spacecraft, to confess, to profess in your heart that you believe in the most high. It stays and lays there prayerfully. But to confess, I have a dope or alcohol or anger, D-A-P, dope, alcohol or pushing people around, D-A-P, dope, Alcohol and poison, folks. DAP. I, I, I mean, you, you admit that you have drugs, alcohol, and anger. You admit that there's something wrong with you, but yet you're doing nothing about it. I mean, you're admitting. It's like going. Check this out. When I was a real, real, real bad addict, dope, drunk, PTSD candidate, uh, straight out of the United States Army and all into Virginia. Uh, by way of the Pentagon, sometimes I would miss work and the people liked me so much. They loved the military so much, the veterans, that they held on to me and I was messing up for two years straight, wild on probation for 180 days. And whenever I didn't go to work or, or wouldn't go, didn't go, no show, no call, yeah, me. I was 26, 27, 28 years old. I would go to the emerge. I would admit myself into the hospital just to get the wristband. So I went back to work. I would keep my job, but I still had the same hookups, hangups, and social ills. So how can you say to your husband, babe, I know I be going off and I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been there, and, and I would drink some, and I would just start leaking from all the holes she would put in me. Uh huh. I promise, I won't pick you up by the neck anymore, and throw you down the stairs. Yeah. Certain of us, and so many of us, know what's wrong with us. You don't have to do your background check. You don't have to research. You readily, you openly, you verbally admit. Uh, watch this. Sister, 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 <laughs> just listen to a man, just listen to a woman. If that man says, I don't do nothing for nobody, guess who's next? You are. If you see that man get up, you might let's say you invite this man or brother or whatever over for dinner and you cook a nice meal and as soon as you finish eating, he Gets up, goes to the sink, and just throws his plate in the sink. Well, he gets up from the table and don't do anything. He's showing you what he about. I don't do nothing for nobody, girl. I've been saying this since 1974, as I leave this alone. So we must beware and be aware. People will tell you who they are, 
what they're about, what they're not going to do, what they're struggling with, and what they can't handle. As I land a final spacecraft. But when we can readily admit, hmm, <coughs> excuse me, bless me. When we can readily admit, openly, with with with, with evil uh, uh, evil strength, pride. Pride is nothing more than loud lies about yourself. Well, pride is pushed by the enemy. When we can say, girl, I, I, sometimes I try to catch myself, but it's just hard. Man, I be trying, man, but I just, I just stop. When we can admit, certain of us, any one of us, what's wrong with us, and we don't do anything about it, you're going to stay in that loop until you do something about it. Instead of just saying, what's wrong with you? We can state what's wrong with us all we want to, but instead that verbalization manifests, manifests itself into you trying to get some type of help. The old song says, you got me going in circles. Peace, help us, Lord, to get out the loop. Why?